Good day, technical drawing class. Today we're going to create the axle support of the handcart project. So to start that, we're going to start in the front plane with a sketch. And because this project is very thin, or this part is very thin, we actually only have to create one line of the front view and then extrude it with a certain thickness. So I'm going to start with a line and I'm going to start right here on the origin and I'm just going to use my line tool. I'm going to come back and put fillets in later. I'm going to turn this to an arc. And make that line tangent to that arc following that yellow guideline. And now I am going to use my sketch fillet tool to create the fillets right here. This has a radius of 1, and this has a radius of 0.75. And now I can start to dimension this object. So the first dimension I will use is from here to here, from the center point to the very bottom is 1.65. From this center point to the bottom is 2. From this center point to the bottom is 3.375. The radius of this arc is 0.375. And now I'll put my horizontal distances from here to here is 4. And from here to here is 2.3. Okay. And then lastly, the angle of this line is 32.5 degrees. I do not Right now, I don't care where this point is. It can be arbitrary. We're going to cut off this point later on. So now I'm going to extrude this. And when I have just a straight line or one line and not a closed sketch, it creates a thin, thin feature right here. Okay. So the thickness we can see is 0.125. So I'm going to make the thickness 0.125. And my extrude distance is going to be 1. Very quickly, I'm going to sketch the hole down here. 0.328. From here to here is 0.75. And it is centered on this, so from here to here is 0.5. And I will cut that through. All right, so now we have a new, we need to cut away this area up here. And to do that, we need a plane up here because we cannot cut through from the bottom. So we're going to create a new plane. So I'm going to choose the top plane in my design tree, and then I'm going to go to Reference Geometry Plane. And it creates a new plane. And I want that plane anywhere way above the top of our object. It doesn't matter how far, just as long as it is above the object here. So with that plane selected, I will start a new sketch. We'll look at it from the top view. And now here I need to turn on my hidden lines visible because I need to see that hidden line because the circle that I'm going to draw here with a radius of 0.83, but since I'm drawing a circle, I need to 
multiply that by 2. I need to make that holding control make it tangent to that line. Okay, And then I need to make sure that this is dimensioned from the center point, point 0.5. And now I will rotate this so you can see this happening and I'll turn on I will use that sketch to cut down through that and then I will hide that plane. I will change my material to 1020 steel, AISI 1020. And there is the completed part.